Hey guys, today, um, I'm just trying to make a video, and today we're going to explain things about the brand new, um, Battle Pass kit. We're going to be talking about good old smoke here. And we're also going to be talking about the brand new Vanessa skin. Now, first, let's go take a look at the skin. As I'm sure you can see, the skin comes with a skin for her, her bow, and a crossbow to boot. Now, this is a pretty good skin. It's nice, gilded colors. We've got some blue, gold, glowing neon yellow, things like that. Except, is this really worth it? I mean, we have to elaborate on this, but I'm sure you've and I've got plenty of time to elaborate. So I'm sure if you've seen that kit skin, you definitely already know about Vanessa kit. Shoots three arrows if you have three arrows after a long charge up. And as you see, she gets her own bow skin that looks pretty neat, not gonna lie, like a corrupt dark void bow. Except, there are a few issues that I have with this. As you can see in the kit menu, Vanessa is a kit that, if you don't already have, she costs 399 Robux. Added up, we're gonna round up all the numbers in this video so it's easier. So basically, 400 Robux. And the kit skin, if you did not know, costs 800 Robux. Now, this is a bit confusing. Now, while this is a skin for the base kit, I'm pretty sure that means that in order to buy this, you need to own the original Vanessa. Except, there are a lot of loopholes with this that we gotta talk about first. Now, for those of you who don't know, every single kit itself costs $3.99, except one exception, the Void Regent, which came in a bundle of six items, technically. Um, inside, uh, one small bundle. Except there's something about this. It'd give you a skin for two kits, as well as a kit and a hang glider. So you're basically getting multiple items, because you're getting two things for kits. You're getting one, and, uh, the, uh, glider. A lobby gadget that was removed originally from the game because it's a little bit overpowered the fact that you can sail across the map with like one emerald so yeah that's pretty worth it because then you're getting an axolotl amy you're getting a barbarian you're getting void regen except is that really how that works so originally if you don't know what kits do you buy them equip them and they change how your gameplay is affected Things are like Elder Tree. Elder Tree cannot buy armor, except to make up for that, he can gain a limitless amount of health. Trust me, I've checked. It goes way beyond a thousand. Another thing is Barbarian. You cannot buy swords, but you earn swords by dealing any type of damage. This goes for anything, be it poison, fire, or even your own sword. So, yeah, these are pretty self-explanatory, but there are other kits that also give you additional buy purchases, like purchasable items. Examples are, Santa Kit allows you to buy high-explosive bombs, which you basically throw, and it will rain TNT all over them. Other things also include Gingerbread Man, Spirit Catcher, and Ares, the Fisherman, Raven, Jack, Trapper, uh, okay, I mean, who doesn't have something you can go buy from the shop? But, this brings me to the next thing. As you can see, Vanessa costs already, like, the four bucks, like I said, and already has a bow skin, and I think it has a crossbow skin, I'm not sure, I never really checked. But, still, this is still double the price. Now, from what I've heard from other players, you need to have the base kit in order to use the skin. So, is this actually worth it? Well, I'm going to go on a whim and say that it is not worth it. Because if it is true that you need to have the base kit to use this skin, you are paying 400 for the original kit, and then another 800 for the skin itself. Now this isn't looking too good. That's like 1200 Robux for a kit and a skin. When the bundle came with one kit, two skins, and a glider for the same price. 
Now, let me be honest, skins are a good thing to put in your game. They're customizations that people can use. Except, Roblox has avatars, and there's also this. If you haven't seen, I'll show you now. Now, as you see, in the kit menu, there is a use kit skin, which most people like it off because Roblox gives you your avatars, something that can be customized over billions and billions of ways with different items. So most people have the use kit skin off because sometimes they like having the skins like of reindeers rotating around them, the deep void rage blade because it looks cool, things like that, except you got those in a bundle. But now, people are most likely going to have the kit skin off for Vanessa, and if they do buy this, which is an additional 800 Robux, it only affects the bow and the crossbow. For 800 Robux, two skins and a kit skin that people will most likely not use with the use kit skin button, I mean, that's kind of not worth it. And there is an additional thing that I'd like to talk about. Weapon skins and how skins can also be a scheme. So, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there is a game called Fortnite that's been pretty popular, and it's also had skins in its own game. Except, there is an incident. The Banana Peely skin. If you didn't know back in Season 8 when the original game leased, you could get a banana skin at a very high tier. And essentially, it was very tough, people earned it, and they liked it, because, I mean, who wouldn't like to be a banana going around and hunting other players down to win? So yeah, it was a good thing, except the catch is eventually they released a robot banana skin called Robot Peely. And is that kind of worth it? Well, no, because this one costed like 15 bucks for something that technically would cost you about 8 bucks in the battle pass. So this also made the original skin feel a little less because everybody wanted to wear the new one because it was a robot, futuristic, it was the newest skin. Except there was another issue. Eventually in Halloween and in Christmas, they would eventually release a Halloween zombie skin of the banana and a Christmas frozen skin of the banana which was absolutely free. Now for those of you who don't realize how this could be an issue, People who had the original skin were basically just feeling like trash because everybody was getting bananas left, right, all over the place, making the original worthless because it was no longer special. Now, everybody could have a banana and it wouldn't matter because they're like, oh, you've got that banana? Well, I've got this one, so mine's just as cool as yours and as worthy. Except, it isn't, because they eventually released an Agent skin, a King Peely skin, a... Neon Peely skin, they added, uh, what else did they add? A Summer Peely skin. So there's like eight bananas, making the original worthless because everybody wants to wear the different ones. Why? Because it's different. But just because something's different doesn't mean it's good. So while people will wear the Deep Void Barbarian because it's cool, people will also wear the original one because some people prefer how it looks. Other people just couldn't buy this skin, but who knows? Just because it's new does not mean it is better than the original. Just like the Vanessa, just because this skin is new doesn't mean you have to buy it to be cool. If you own Vanessa, that's good enough already. You don't need this skin because you're already wasting a lot of Robux buying it and the skin. So yeah, skins can kind of be a scheme because when people keep releasing the same thing over and over in different variants, you're basically just selling something people earned for a cheap price, basically making a paywall. Because I don't think it's fair that people grinded for a banana skin in Fortnite and then people could get the same thing for free as in ice skin. Because then not only is it a event skin making it rare because it's Christmas themed but it's also a banana making everybody who got the original banana not as special because it's no longer special and another thing is how they should do skins now because there's weapon skins like the deep void uh, barbarian sword and the Vanessa bow and crossbow things like that People, like, those look cool. It's affecting how the normal swords look and stuff like that. 
But a good way to do skins is have them be cheap, buyable, and for main items. You shouldn't have to buy a kit just so you can wear a skin. Because in order to even have those skins, you need to have the kit and the skin, which is a lot of Robux. What if people just want the bow or the crossbow in general? How they should do it is make it like this. Let's say um, there is a Rage Blade skin, except it's actually a wooden sword. It is a wooden Rage Blade that will reskin your wooden sword. And it's cool because people are like, oh, he's got a Rage Blade, but it's neat because it's just wood. It's a wooden sword. Because then you've got a pretty neat looking sword and you don't have to like pay for it and stuff. Except there's one little issue with that. What would they add? Because everybody's got access to swords. Well, there's all kinds of things. You could add bow skins. You could add block skins, maybe. You could add um, balloon skins. You could add telepearl skins, fireball, TNT. Like, the amount of things you could do are limitless. And you could have them look good. Like, oh, uh, you know the wooden planks and stuff in game? Who knows? You could maybe make, like, a darker wood skin for, like, 50 Robux or something. You could make a, uh, stone sword? Heck. Maybe even a ruby sword that replaces the diamond sword for, like, uh, 100 Robux or something. Because then people don't have to be forced to wear a kit just to use its weapon skins. Like, let's say... I want to have Vanessa's bow, but I want to look like Archer or something. Or I want to have, um... Well, that's basically it, because everything else uh, kind of sucks. And there's not really skins for kits, but yeah. What if I wanted to be, um... I don't know, Barbarian, but I wanted to, like, level up swords and rage blades like go from a wood rage blade to a stone rage blade because then they're all cool skins and stuff like that'd be cool and then people like wouldn't have to be forced to wear a skin or maybe you could just buy the wood rage blade because then you could say hey guys look at me i've got a rage blade and then you wouldn't even need to have barbarian to look cool but yeah things like that it's not really worth it and also the new kit that people waited forever to have Example being the smoke skins, actually not that good, and we're going to demonstrate it here today with my good old pal, Snowball. Yes, we're going to have my friend Snow, he's going to help me demonstrate the kit. If you don't know what he does, he's basically more stealth. Yeah, the wave emote, yeah, yeah, I forgot to add, yeah. So basically, we're going to test this kit right now, and yeah, it's going to be fun. Alrighty, so the first test for this kit is can players steal your smoke blocks so they can break it very clearly and they can very clearly place them for their own gain so if you do place these people can use them test number two can people see your username and stuff snow can you see my username so you can still see my username so this would only be good from a distance where people can't see your username because if you're close enough hiding in it they can see you Alright, now test number three and four, can ranged projectiles, wait, so yeah, test number four, can ranged projectiles enter and exit the smoke blocks? So I'm going to hit uh, snow with some snowballs. Yes, so you can clearly hit people outside of them, but can they hit people in them? Alright, so go ahead, buy snowballs or arrows, either one, we're going to test this. Yes, you can still clearly get hit. Alrighty, um, so we're going to do the final test. Oh, well, I'm just going to keep those there. Um, the effectiveness of this. Alright, Snow, so I'm going to come over and raid your base. I'm going to hide behind this. Um, I'm going to see, yeah, try, oh yeah, no, it's probably going to affect me. Alrighty, so, can you see me walking up to your bed right now? Yep, and he can still hit me, so this is the major downside. You can't break anything, and you also can't attack. Yeah, look at this. The side effects is you can still be hit. He can still see all of your thing. He can see the side effects. I cannot hit him. So if you get seen, you're dead, because they can very much see you, and there's nothing you can do to defend yourself. The other thing is you can only have one at a time. So the fact that it's pretty much useless 
smoke blocks can still basically leave you defenseless and stuff like that. It's not worth it. You still can't do anything while you're in smoke blocks. So if you're seen and you get hit, there's nothing you can do to defend yourself. So yeah, this kit's kind of trash. Be it the fact that people can steal your blocks that you pay 15 iron for 8 for. You can only have one smoke block at a time. They don't protect you from ranged. And they don't even hide your username while you're in them. It's not worth it. And the fact that people can still see your debuffs also isn't worth it. So yeah. Overall, if Easy GG sees this, this kit is absolute trash, and I'm pretty sure a lot and uh, of people are heavily disappointed that the fact that we waited this long for a kit that's majority useless and iron wasting. And the other half is that people are paying like 1200 Robux for Vanessa and the skin, and the skin is literally the same thing, just with a different bow and crossbow. So, yeah. Um, my message is make skins like, oh, um, if I buy a wooden sword, or if I buy a stone sword, it looks like this. Oh yeah, another thing, this kit's kinda useless, it gives you a minor bit of shield, and enemies can also steal it and do it, like, come on. Yeah, even jelly's better, because at least you get shield from this. The thing is, like, come on, islands, the point of a kit is that only you're meant to use it. If people can steal smoke blocks or steal jelly things, like, that removes the whole point of, like, picking the kit. Because then other people can just steal what you spend 40 iron on, 15 iron on, things like that. Yeah. So, make it that if enemies break things like that, they can't use it. If you add skins, make it, like, armor skin. Like, what if you made barbarian armor? So, like, barbarian leather armor, it looks like, uh, really... It's, like, armor with spikes on it, it's got a different helmet, and it's the same thing. Like, people could buy that for Robux, and they could equip it, so then they get cool-looking leather armor and stuff. And then it's actually worth it, because right now, these kits and skins are not worth the Robux, and it is definitely not worth it for people who already have Vanessa, be it that it's double the price of the original Vanessa. When it's literally the same exact skin, just with a different bow and style. So, yeah, uh, the, the, this is just my opinion, you don't gotta listen to it, but, I mean, going down the path of skins is a dark and cryptic path, and it is also a very greedy path. Release good skins, because if you release skins for useless kits like Vulcan and stuff, that's just downright bad. See you guys next time. This is my opinion, and yeah, I'm kind of disappointed.